What bloody man is that? He can report, as seemeth by his plight, of the revolt. This is the sergeant who, like a good and hardy soldier, fought against my captivity. Hail, brave friend. Say to the king the knowledge of the broil as thou didst leave it. Doubtful it stood, as two spent swimmers that do cling together and choke their art. The merciless MacDonald, worthy to be a rebel. For to that, the multiplying villainies of nature do swarm upon him. From the western isles, of kerns and galaglasses are supplied. And fortune, on this damned coil smiling, showed like a rebel's whore, but all's too weak. For brave Macbeth, well he deserved that name, disdaining fortune with his brandished steel, which smoked with bloody execution, like Valor's minion carved out of his passage. Till he faced the slave, which neither shook hands nor bade farewell to him. Till he enseamed him from the nave to the chaps, and fixed his head upon our battlements. O oh, valiant cousin, worthy gentleman! As whence the sun skins his reflection, shipwrecking storms and direful thunders break. So from the spring whence comfort seemed to come, discomfort swells. Mark, King of Scotland, Mark. No sooner justice with valor armed compelled these skipping kerns to trust their heels. But the Norwayan lord surveying vantage, with furbished arms and new supplies of men, began a fresh assault. Dismayed not this, our captains Macbeth and Banquo. Yes, a sparrow's eagles or the hair of the lion. If I say soothe, I must report they were as cannons, overcharged with double cracks, so they doubly redoubled strokes upon the foe, except they meant to bathe in reeking wounds, or memorize another Golgotha. I cannot tell, but I am faint, and my gashes cry for help. So all thy words become thee as thy wounds. They smack of honor both. Go get him, sergeants. Who comes here? The worthy Thane of Ross. What a haste looks through his eyes. So should he look, that seems to speak things strange. God save the king. Whence comest thou, worthy Thane? From Fife, great king. Whether Norway and banners flout the sky and fanner people code, Norway himself, with terrible numbers, assisted by that most disloyal traitor, the Thane of Cowdor began a dismal conflict, till that Bellona's bridegroom laughed in proof, confronted him with self-comparisons, point against point, rebellious arm against arm, curbing his lavish spirit, and to conclude, the victory fell on us. Great happiness! But now, Sweeno, the Norway's king, craves composition, nor would we deign him burial of his men. Till he dispersed at St. Combs Inch, ten thousand dollars to our general use. No more that fane of Goldor shall deceive our bosom interest. Go pronounce his present death, and with his former title, greet Macbeth. I'll see it done. What he hath lost, noble Macbeth hath won. 